Hello America, this is Keith, your friendly neighborhood technician, coming back at you with some more wonderful information this week on why does my appliance smell? I'm mainly talking about washers and dishwashers, okay? Because those are the ones that actually have water that actually have, that can have mold and mildew buildup. One is, are you cleaning them on a regular basis? Washers and dishwashers both need to be cleaned on a regular basis. And there's a couple different products out there. You've got a fresh for washers and a fresh for dishwashers. And you've got like, like Lemma Shine for dishwashers. There's a bunch of them out there. I'm not gonna go through all of them. But it's one of those because the way appliances are made now, and we're gonna go over here and take a look. I wanna show you what's going on here. Okay. For a washer, okay. Brand is irrelevant. This is technology. A front load washer, okay is a sealed unit okay what i mean by sealed unit is this fills up with water so this has to make a hard seal okay which means no air gets in or out if you have no air getting in or out you have no chance for the house air to dry the water so what you have is a an area that now bacteria can't grow in now, if you use your washer every day, every other day, you're probably not going to have an issue because you're going to be changing the water on a regular basis. If you're like me and do it once a week, then you're going to want to make sure you wash your, you wash, you clean out your washer. Okay, mine's an old, old washer, so I really don't have as much issue because it's got air, it's got things everywhere. It doesn't leak, but air can get out anywhere. But on all of your, the manufacturer's front loads, this glass fits tight to here. The entire unit is sealed and has one small little vent tube up on top here that lets, water, lets, lets air out. So when it spins, it doesn't create a bunch of issues with vacuum and suction, things along those lines. We don't need to get into that. But So it's only a hole about that big that lets air in to let air dry out. Now, if we go over the top loaders over here, okay. Yeah. This is something along the lines of what I have. Okay, I have a lot of space here, so there's a lot of room for air to get in there, help dry it, keep the bacteria from growing because the water is going to help dissipate. Now, there's always going to be a little bit of water in the unit, which means that is where the bacteria is going to grow. When he does a clean, it does a flush, it tries to flush out all the, all the bad water, but some generally gets left in. But that's where your smell comes from, is the bacteria building up inside your, the water of your washers and your dishwashers. Now, these, if you look, are a little more closed off, okay? I don't have near the room that I do on the older styles to let air get in. See, these are really tight. If you look in here, that's a, not a lot of space there. Where some of the older ones, I can put my hand like this in mine. So I've got lots of space in there, okay? So if I have less availability for air to get in there, I have less availability for the water to evaporate and things along those lines to keep the mold and mildews from growing. Now let's go look at dishwasher and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now, this is basically an old style, old school dishwasher. Yes, it's a more efficient than it used to be, but you'll see this big heater here. This will actually heat and dry your dishes, okay? Now, this one doesn't do the job that mine does. Mine is an older dishwasher. When I actually open the dishwasher, I can feel a lot of heat still in my plates so I have to actually let it cool off. Nowadays, due to energy concerns and Energy Star and blah, 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 you know what I'm talking about, they don't heat as hot because that takes energy away from your thing. So that's why they want you to use rinse aids and things along those lines. And when you go to something like these other units, okay, you've got a smaller element that doesn't get that doesn't actually get hot. It basically uses to heat the water and a little bit of heat, okay? Now, if we go to some of these units, where are we looking for, okay? We'll use this one just for the sake of giggles, okay? You can't see a heating element in there. So the heating element is not meant for drying. It is meant to heat the cavity a bit so excess water will fall off the units, but you'll also find that your glasses, if they're upside down, that have a cavity in will have water still left in them. That, unfortunately, is the way all manufacturers have to function now to meet the energy requirements that they're told they have to meet at. So by not heating up as much as the older ones do, there is more water left down here in the sumps under here. Okay, let's get this out of the way real quick. Just so we can show you what I'm talking about, okay? Okay, there is water gonna be left in here, 
okay with the water left in here that means you've got a warm moist environment and in a warm moist environment that's where your bacteria is going to start to grow now if you use your washer consistently you can cut down on some of the smell if you use your washer once every two or three days you're probably going to have a smell that's going to come back a whole lot more often so you want to make sure you do wash and use a clean cycle on your on your washers or your dishwasher that will help keep the smell down and it should actually make you get a little more use out of your plants because the less gunk you have in your plants, the less chance you have something clogging up and breaking it. So don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and we'll come back next week with some more wonderful information. Have a good day.